Welcome to your Go Market Update charts of today for today, Tuesday, the 5th of December. It is RBA Day, and it's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, leading you around. What's happening now is we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, we saw US equities take a pause. We've had five weeks of gains, and we just saw a little bit of selling coming in just while markets wait for some more data. We have some big data coming out later this week. We did see small caps doing well again. The Russell was up in excess of a percent, whereas all the other major indices were slightly shy. The Dow was only just below neutral, suggesting once again that there may be some rotation going on. US futures are just below neutral in Asian trading and Asian markets are following that lead from Wall Street. ASX is down 0.9% percent with material stocks significantly underperforming the rest of the market just on the back of a drop in commodity prices european futures are pointing to a positive open however and the vix is still testing september support the us dollar index was a little stronger yesterday bounce off support and this pulled gold down from its all-time highs pulled back a hundred dollars to 2030 but was at one stage eyeing 2150 quite significant really on the cfd contract Copper reversed the previous day's gains, fell back below 385, and that was four months high. It hit the day before last. We are seeing a little buying coming back in in Asia. Oil has dropped to the bottom of short term range and looks very precariously balanced on support. Bitcoin absolutely smashed through 40,000, tested 18 month highs. Buying continues. We are seeing a little bit of a pause in Asia at this stage, uh, but at this stage, the buyers are still very much in. On the data front, we have had some Japanese CPI numbers out already. They were quite soft. We've got the RBA decision later. The expectation is to pause. And later on today, we've got services PMI numbers coming out of the Europe, UK and US. Europe PPI is also due. And of course, US jobs will start to come across the wires with tomorrow's ADP number, of course, culminating in Friday's non-farm payrolls couple of charts that caught our eye today. Slim pickings on the ASX, but Collins Foods are still looking pretty good. We had this pullback after this earnings pop uh, from 11.30, but we'll look as though we're heading back up to there again. If we look at the weekly chart for context, you can see the importance of this level back here in early 2022. Possible move up to around about 20, 12.70, perhaps, in the first instance over the period of the next few weeks it is probably a medium term hold that would be a 10 percent return on investment possibly a pause just over 12 dollars around about 12 14. on the fx in the fx world we are seeing some interesting price action on the aussie yen this is really stuck in a short term range after some weakness in the aussie yesterday uh, so we've got these two levels one at around about 97.20 you can see this was support on the 29th of November and one obviously yesterday's pivot at 97.53. So we're trading within around about a 30 pip range to the up and down. So I think a breach of either of these could be significant. If we breach 97.30, we could see ourselves down to test S1 pivot and maybe even lower than that down to 96.78. If we breach the pivot level, then a test possibly of around about 97.90 is on the card. So around about a 40-bit move to the upside. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.